Lionel Messi and Sergio Aguero share a very close bond, which is why it was not surprising to see that the PSG man was totally distraught to find out that his best mate is retiring from the game so prematurely. All of us were shocked by the announcement, but then again, we all saw it coming. Meanwhile, Anthony Martial is not too eager to play at Manchester United, and the club will not stand in his way either. Who saw that coming, right? Man, what is going on at Leeds United? Marcelo Bielsa's side were hammered 7-0 by Manchester City, and it appears that there is an implosion on the horizon. For those of you who didn't follow the Arab Cup of 2021, you need to watch the performances of Algerian international Youssef Balaili, who is on the road to redemption and is doing a darn good job of staying relevant. Barcelona are in a nightmarish situation as they look to offload Samuel Mtiti, but this is one player not many suitors are too crazy about. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favorite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they're involved in other breaking news. It is the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. Try as they might, but Barcelona are really struggling to get Samuel Mtiti off their books. Deemed undesirable by the club, Umtiti can only be satisfied by the crumbs that Xavi leaves for him. He was given a rare start in the two-all draw with Osasuna, but that's done little to improve his situation at Camp Nou. In the background, the club is still pushing him towards the exit. The likes of AC Milan and Benfica are chasing him, but no one has arrived with a suitable offer. Will Umtiti attract someone or continue to run down his contract? For months, the Blaugrana had been working hard to get rid of the centre-back and even hired an agent to help them out. The agent, whoever that chap was, proposed Umtiti's name during negotiations with a big club in Europe. The response? Representatives of the team in question asked whether it was a joke. Out of form, injury-prone and making almost 10 million euros a year, no one wants to sign a player like that. So we think that Monsieur Umtiti needs to assess the situation, clear his head and ask himself whether he wants to play football or not. If Barcelona may change things up in the upcoming winter transfer window, which will open starting on January 1st, another team could also be very active in the coming weeks. Juventus. Already qualified for the knockout stages of the Champions League, but not at the top in the Serie A, the old lady will want to bring a little bit of freshness to its squad this winter, and Massimiliano Allegri has already drawn up a very extravagant shopping list. Between Federico Gatti, Nicolo Rovella, Denis Zakaria, Aurelian Chouameni, Mauro Icardi, Gianluca Sciamacca, or even Anthony Martial, the Bianconeri are not lacking in desire for this transfer market. But the priority may be the French striker, who's struggling at Man United. La Gazzetta dello Sport takes stock of the Martial case, who plays once in a blue moon for the Red Devils because of injuries and poor attitude, and Juve will reportedly do everything to recruit him. That daily claims that the club's priority is to move for Martial, with the Italians looking to bring him on loan. The player, as well, isn't too keen on staying at Old Trafford, where the interim manager, Ralf Ragnick, has called the player's bluff through his agent. The German tactician is clearly not the sort who will beg and be on his knees to request players to stay, especially when their qualities are only good enough in video games. Of course, Paul Pogba is also in that same category. Ragnick has said that if Martial wants to leave, he has to inform him or the club before saying that he doesn't communicate with agents through media. And this is where we have to respect Ragnick for not bowing down to a player whose body language seems to suggest that he has no ambition of realizing his true potential. Following a 2-1 win over Qatar on Wednesday evening, Algeria have qualified for the final of the 2021 Arab Cup. And it was Youssef Balaili who scored the winning goal. His career has been eventful to say the least, and he's now on a road to redemption. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Belaili has literally splashed onto the stage for Algeria, who are considered favourites to win the tournament. He's scored goals and provided assists on a regular basis during the competition. However, if the football world is now enjoying the strokes of genius of Belaili, the excitement caused by his performances in the national team does not completely erase the regrets left by a largely marred course. A winger with a controversial career, the enfant terrible of 
Algerian football has gone through many galleys before finding the light. Trained at RCG Oran, Belaili was considered from an early age as a real prodigy. After making his debut at only 15 years old, he was unable to hold his own in a very competitive squad. To further develop his talent, he then joined the CA Borjbu Ararij, but again he struggled. Completely lost, Belaili struggled to realize his full potential. However, things started to look up for him and after a few more moves within Africa. Six years ago, he tested positive of doping during an African Champions League game. That was the end of his career, to be honest. Banned for four years, his contract at USM Algiers was terminated. Thankfully, the ban was reduced to two years, but by then, his career was thought to be over. However, he's turned a page since then. He's managed to turn his life around and was doing really well for Qatar SC before this competition. Unfortunately, drama has not left the player, who after scoring the goal that eliminated Qatar from the competition, saw his contract terminated by the Qatari club. Of course, that was not the reason, but then again, when you're Yusuf Balaili, you can't be too far away from controversy. The party is over at Leeds. After three years of success with Marcelo Bielsa at the helm, punctuated by the title of champions of the English second division and a memorable run in the Premier League last season, the club is running out of steam this time. The results have not taken off this year with only three victories in 17 games. Currently 16th in the league, the Lily Whites are flirting with the red zone and trail Burnley by only five. The poor performances are linked, to be honest, even though Leeds had started putting in some decent displays. They narrowly lost to Chelsea under controversial circumstances, but the 7-0 walloping is something that can't be ignored. Leeds are in big trouble. There was a time when their over-exuberant way of football would be negated by the amount of goals they scored. Today, they have forgotten how to score more consistently. Meanwhile, the defence is in tatters. Ahead of the game against Arsenal, Bielsa knows that he's on borrowed time. Hopefully, Leeds might turn a corner because if they don't, expect the legendary tactician to be replaced by someone who's more pragmatic about things. When Jorge Sampaoli arrived at Olympique de Marseille, the club was at the bottom of the abyss and the cypress trees were burning. After a few months, he managed to make OM a team that's playing in Europe. After a fiery start to the season, he's become more methodical. Marseille are not going to allow PSG to win the title with zero resistance, even though the Parisians have the upper hand. Speaking to reporters, Sampaoli says that he's happy to see his team achieve so much in such a short amount of time. But at the same time, you have to admit that Sampaoli's eagerness to understand the culture of the city has helped him loads. I work an hour every day to be able to speak the language. I never thought I was going to be as motivated as this. I hope to be able to speak with you in better French soon said the Marseille manager to reporters. Clearly, this is a man who wants to do well for the road giants. Cardiac issues have forced Sergio Aguero to end his time as a player. The Argentine retires as one of the greatest players of his generation, and his absence is definitely going to leave a big gap for Barcelona and for the Argentina national team. And for Messi, it is hard to take. The two have been the best of friends for years, so it wasn't surprising to see the PSG man pay tribute to one of the greatest strikers in Premier League history. On Instagram, Messi said, Practically a whole career together, Kuhn. We lived very beautiful moments and others that were not so. All of them made us unite more and be closer friends. And we are going to continue living them together off the pitch. With the great joy of lifting the Copa America so little ago, with all the achievements you achieved in England, and the truth is that now it hurts a lot to see how you have to stop doing what you like the most because of what happened to you. Surely you will continue to be happy because you are a person who transmits happiness and those of us who love you will be with you. Now a new stage of your life begins and I'm convinced that you are going to live it with a smile and with all the illusion that you put into everything. All the best in this new stage. I love you a lot, friend. I'm going to miss a lot being with you on the pitch and when we get together with the national team. Unfortunately, Aguero was only able to play five games for Barcelona before his heart scare, but he still managed to score a goal in the Clasico against Real Madrid, which is something he will remember for a very long time. But we are sure that the former Man City striker will return soon to the game in some capacity, and once that happens, we'll be talking about a new chapter in Aguero's story that is far from finished.